Hello and welcome to the 17th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at moving a sprite. We'll be using the source code from the 12th part of the series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. In the previous part we looked at the first method for positioning a sprite which was to explicitly change the sprite position to an area in 2D space aka the window. SFML provides a second method which allows you to move a sprite relative to its current position aka applying an offset to the X and Y positions of the spray. So let's just open up our project before we do anything. Okay, so once it's opened, to use this method it's really simple. You just do sprite or the name of your sprite dot move. This takes either SF vector 2F or two float variables. We're going to use SF vector 2F as we pretty much always do. Semi colon, not L, semicolon. Now we're going to specify the two values, number 50 and 40. For a moment I'm going to comment this out so you can see what it looks like before applying this move function. It's in the top left corner. Now if we apply this, run it, it has moved. At the moment this may look identical to the previous method but if we duplicate this method then you will see that it moves again relative to its current position not its original position. So if we just copy and paste this, I'm going to do it a few times. So this is what it looks like at the moment. I'm going to rerun this and it's going to be somewhere in the bottom right. Oh actually it hasn't moved too far. Um, but yeah it has moved from the position of 50, 40, it's moved a total of 200 in the x axis and 160 in the y axis. If you were to apply the set position method multiple times, then nothing would actually happen. You, you would only move it once, and that is it because it's relative to its initial position, relative to the window space, however you want to look at it, it's just putting it in an area in 2D space, that's all it is. So for stuff like player movement, you'll most likely want to use the dot move method. Little thing to note, when moving the sprite, for example, in a situation like pressing the left key, to move the player on a platform, and let's say to the left, make sure you factor in the frame rate, and you don't want it to move at different speeds, depending on the frame rate, because of different hardware capabilities. This helps overcome that, or to an extent to overcome that issue. We'll be covering frame rates later on in this series. That is it for this part of the SMML 2.1 series. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at setting the sprite rotation. If you have, uh, I mean, we said where you can email us. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.